Today, I wanted to actually go over a dry bilge pump system that I have on my boat that I built. You can build it for around $100, which is pretty cheap because a lot of the commercial ones are around $1,000. But it keeps all the water out of your bilge. So if you have problems with some water getting in your bilge, this will definitely keep it out and keep it dry. Bilge pump rarely ever comes on. So I'm going to go through today, part on part one, all the plumbing and all the parts that you'll need and how you hook those up. And then next week on part two, I'll go through all the electrical connections. So here we go. I hope you enjoy this. Hey, Tony again, we've got to do some more. Yep, boat projects, always boat projects. One of the things that we do is we get some water inside of our bilge. It's, uh, I think from coming from underneath it, maybe, maybe, not sure. But I think it might be from the keel. We've got to haul it out. There's the water that's in there. So you get some old nasty water in it. So, at those dry build systems and man are they ever expensive so what i decided to do i read on one of the catalina forums and looked on youtube and saw a lot of uh information about building a, a dry build system so here's kind of what i came up with so i've gotten a a pump system a little pump that's about 20 bucks maybe 24 on Amazon, it's a Series 21 C flow, has three eighths inlets and outlets. And then also, I went by Lowe's and picked up one of these. This is a check valve, so seems like it's got pretty low um, pressure to open it up. And this is what it looks like. So it'll you'll be able to. Uh, have enough pressure from the pump I'm pretty sure and the pump pumps about 1.3 gallons I think per minute per hour whatever it is I'm sure I'll correct that but anyway I got that I got some hose I'm thinking about peeing it into the, uh, the actual bilge itself and use the check valve so it doesn't backflow back into the bilge so here's some of these sharp bike little plex expansions and I'll show you what they look like let me open them up so should have been more prepared all right so here's what it looks like so it's got a about a uh, half inch line on one end and then an inch and a and a half uh, uh well one inch on one side which is about an inch and a quarter is what that really is and a half inch on the other t that comes out here so I bought some hose I'll show you that Got a box of hose, got some half inch or some three eighths, and then so this half inch I think will go and we can tee it into the uh, where the actual bilge bilge is out to outside through one of the hull fittings, and then we'll probably take this and put it on the check valve, which is half inch, and then reduce it down to three eighths. To go to the pump, so I bought a 3 8 reducer. Here's our 3 8 reducer. Let's see what that looks like. So we got the reducer, and then also we have a timer, a little timer, same thing. I put all the links down below. This is a timer that you can get on Amazon. It's about ten bucks, maybe. Let me get it out. Here you go. 
that's what the timer looks like and it's uh, 12 volt so you can set it to time uh, several times a day for a couple of minutes a day so uh, and here's the box for that yeah, I'll show you what it looks like there you go there's the timer so we got that and then what I did let me show you this all right so I bought some sponges this is like little scrubbing the sponges scotch bright sponges heavy duty got kind of a scrub on one side and a sponge on the other They're like a dollar for three of them and I took a I've taken a uh, a cover like a light switch cover and I didn't use a light switch cover a lot of people do I wanted something a little bit more substantial so I just went online and got some of that plastic sheet from Amazon which is basically like a melamine and it's, it's fairly thick you can see how thick it is and so I drilled a 3 8 hole in it and put an elbow in it 3 8 elbow it's got a 3 8 barb and a 3 8 hole that's screwed and I threaded this with a pipe thread a 3 8 pipe thread threaded it through and then I took a couple of stainless steel bolts and I put them on the bottom so this thing will seal so when it goes against the bottom of the bilge it'll seal on the bilge when it sucks and the, the sponge will actually help it seal I tried to see if you could blow through or suck through this scrubbing part of the sponge and you can it'll, it'll go right through it so we're going to put that on as the in, inlet to the pump and we also have a strainer I'll show you what that looks like so we got that and then we have a strainer so I'll put the strainer on the input side too uh, you can get these off of Amazon also they're about five bucks yeah it looks like this okay so we have a strainer so we'll go through our T uh, well we'll go first on the input side we'll go through this little pickup I've made uh, 3 8 toes into the strainer out of the strainer into the input side of the pump and this pump can run dry it's a diaphragm type pump so they say it won't hurt it at all to run dry so if it's not any water in it so be it uh, I don't think you want to submerge it but you know mount it up higher. I'm going to try to mount it in the bilge and, and get it up as high as I can. Then coming out of the output of that then we'll go through our check valve here and then we'll go into this T that goes into the outlet that goes out the side of the boat so that the uh, we can put it out the, out the stern uh, on the uh, port side. So anyway I'm going to let you know if all this works or not. I'm going to hook it up and do a little test to see if it works before I start mounting and boring holes and doing all that kind of stuff. And I'd like to take the timer, what I was hoping for. You can see Kathy, she's just hard at work over here on her phone. And uh, anyway, so we'll put the timer maybe in this panel like that. that. That would look so good. But I don't want to drill any holes until I make sure this is all going to work. Probably put it on a separate breaker. Uh, we'll just try it on one of the breakers for now, but then we'll probably put it on a separate breaker. So, all right, so I'm gonna hook all this up and let's see if this thing works. So here's an overview of the dry bilge system. So here's the existing bilge pump and the existing check valve that's already on the boat. What you want to do is take the output line from that check valve, cut it in two where it goes to the existing through hole, and insert the sharp bite T which is one inch on both sides and a half inch on the input side. Then you want to actually mount your pump and then run a line from there into your new check valve, making sure to put the check valve in a correct way. It has an arrow on it. And then tie that into the half inch line to the T that's going to go to the uh, through hole. Then take your pickup that you made and run the three eighths line from there to the strainer. And, from the, and make sure to put the strainer in correctly because it also has an arrow on it. And then run that into the input of the pump. So anyway, today I mounted the pump for my dry pump sump system in here. This is the bilge. So I'm going to mount it right there. Then I'll have to cut this line and put that T in. So hopefully that will work. It's the right size. I think it is looks to be I think it's gonna fit so anyway we'll try that next so I got this hose cut it goes down off the check valve 
of the bilge pump and then goes out the back. So get it cut, see if we can put some clamps on it and then run into the output of the pump. Okay, so here's what we got so far. So I've got in the floor where the actual bilge pump's at. I've added this little sea flood pump and a strainer, then run my line through and then over to here and down there I've got a pickup that I made <clears throat> and then coming out of it I got it going over to see here there's a line that goes into tees into the build pump exit and I also have a check valve. I don't know if you can see this check valve back in here. There's a check valve there. To keep the water flow from flowing back when the bilge pump pumps. Well, let's we'll see if it works. Hey guys, I'd like to say thank you to everyone that subscribes and follows me and Kathy and Dreamweaver. We're having a great time and we have a really good time shooting these videos for you. Um, we also have some good news. We have a new Patreon uh, so that you can set up and go to Patreon and look up Dreamweaver SB. You can get some perks there too. It's a place where you can give a couple of dollars for the videos if you'd like. And then you get all kinds of nice perks. For instance, discounts on shirts, hats, and our swag shop. You also get a chance to be on crew calls, maybe even go on the boat for the weekend or for the week. So go over to Patreon and look up Dreamweaver SB. I'll put a link down in the in the comments so anyway i hope everybody uh enjoys the videos we enjoy shooting them and uh, this kind of helps us pay for some of the camera equipment and all the stuff we need to keep shooting the videos so hope you keep following thank you for following and i look forward to meeting up with you on patreon we'll also have captain's hours where we'll all be able to talk and real-time updates so see you over there